Okay, uh, have your attention, please. Here we've got a, a special, uh, a special press conference uh, that we'd like to, to have here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. That uh, that we think is uh, you know, maybe the best one we're going to have all day. So uh, we've got uh, <clears throat> we've got Keith Rodden, and he's the crew chief of the number five Hendrick Ridealong.com Chevrolet. Keith is there in the middle. But our real celebrity here today is our honorary crew, crew chief for the number five Chevrolet, and that's Braylon Beam. And he's to my immediate right. And, uh, you know, Braylon's, Braylon's been all over the city being honorary coaches and so forth with the Panthers uh, earlier, I think, this month. Or now he's an honorary crew chief at uh, Hendrick Motorsports and certainly is an inspiration uh, to us all. His family's over here to the right, and I met them, and they're just a wonderful family. And, uh, Braylon, I'm going to ask you, uh, we're going to get into a couple things here, but, you know, you've been an honorary coach for the Panthers. They're undefeated. Right? And now you're going to be an honorary pick, you know, crew chief here tonight at Charlotte Motor Speedway. What, what do you expect is going to happen here tonight? Um, KC Kane's going to step up his game. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> Keith, uh, let's come over to you real quick. Talk a little bit about your connection to Braylon. Um, you know, how, how you maybe got to know him and his family and, and uh, that type of thing. So this will probably be the toughest thing I ever do. But, um, sorry. Coach Beam and Mrs. Vicki Beam, they were uh, teachers. I'm such a wuss. That's they were okay. teachers at East Lincoln High School in Denver, North Carolina. I tell you what, they were just excellent people, and they have touched so many people in our community for so many years, and just did, went above and beyond what any educator needed to do. And, <clears throat> you know, as soon as I found out about Braylon, I, I'd never met Braylon until today, or his father, Jesse, or his mother, Meredith, but I know Coach Beam, I know Mrs. Beam, uh, one of Coach Beam's older sons. I kind of knew a little bit through high school. And when I saw his story, I said, man, we got to do something for Braylon. we got to do something for their family. And, um, you know, they, they just have done so much for Denver, North Carolina. And I just, I wanted to try to give back. And, I, I mean, good grief, this kid has given back so much more to us than we could ever provide for him. And, you know, I... We get so caught up in, you know, the, the stuff that we do and, and racing and winning and tight and loose and restarts and all that stuff. But, the, you know, this really puts into perspective, um, you know, what, the way that Braylon has faced NF1, um, his Just Keep Dancing campaign, where he dances through chemotherapy every Friday at Novant Health Center. And... I mean, it's just amazing, and um, you know, I, I'm I'm just so honored that he decided to come and hang out with us today. And you know, I, I think Casey's done a great job, and I think Braylon got on him a little bit. You know, I was telling everybody, Coach Beam used to get on me a little bit, and if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be half the man I am. So, you know, it's people like that. It can't always be your parents. You know, my my parents are really hard on me, and you know, great people like Coach Beam, Mrs. Beam, and. You know, it's just really special to be able to do a little bit something back for them. Thank you, Keith. And uh, Braylon, you've been out here at the track for a little while. I'm sure you've gone and checked out the car and checked out the practice charts and those types of things and seen what the folks in the garage are doing. But I understand you talked to Casey a little while ago. And, and what advice, Braylon, did you give Casey? Did you give him some advice? and? and tell him maybe some things that he should be doing out here this weekend, what would you tell him? 
Go faster. There you go. <laughs> go faster. Go faster. And Keith, uh, certainly that's, uh, that's pretty good advice uh, when you come to Charlotte Motor Speedway. But Casey Kane is no stranger to winning here. So um, what do you think about if Casey could uh, win that Bank of America 500 here Saturday night? Well, obviously it would be really special. Uh, you know, I was able to get over here one time last year, but I feel like every time – I come here as a crew chief or every time Casey comes here as a driver that, you know, we figure it all out pretty fast and click and, uh, you know, we're pretty fast in practice today and Casey wasn't bad in the Xfinity practice and then after Braylon talked to him, I think he's first, so, you know, that might change. I doubt they'll do a uh, mock run, but that was race trim, so I think Braylon's already kind of getting Casey going a little bit and he's helping us out, getting the car through the tech line and you know, everything there, so. It's really special here, and the Bank of America race is every bit as hard as the Coke 600. So, you know, we uh, definitely fight all night and try to be there at the end and get a win for Braylon. That way, uh, we got a little bit of a tie-in. Braylon's going to be the honorary starter for the 5 Kane on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Oh, at the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So if we can win this race and stay up all night, and I can try to kidnap Casey Kane, Everyone who beats Casey Kane, so like, you know, 30 people beat him, Casey's going to donate $105 for every person who beats him in the 5K. So I, I think there wouldn't be anything better than just stay up all night and celebrate a win and Absolutely. go run that race. Absolutely. Listen, we'll take a couple questions. If you have a question for either Braylon or Keith, raise your hand. We'll take a couple questions here. We'll start here with uh, my man Bob, and then we'll go to Greg. Uh, Bob Pockers, ESPN. Braylon, I saw you dancing with some of the crew guys. Who are the better dancers, the Kane crew guys or the Carolina Panthers? Carolina Panthers. <laughs> ah, that's okay. He's honest. He's honest. Greg? Uh, GregEnglExaminer.com. Hey, Braylon. Over here, buddy. Braylon, right in the middle in the, in the gold hat. I'm Same. pretty fat, so it's easy to see me. Right here. But, uh... Raise your hand. Hey! Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hey, um, you know, talking about the dance and, you know, talk to the crew to dance, you think maybe if you worked with Casey a little bit, you might have a, a, a dance for him to do if he does win on Saturday night? Yes, sir. <laughs> you have some of the best dancers we've had. Uh, let's go over here to uh, Stan, and maybe we'll take uh, one more, and then we've got a special treat, I think. Okay, Braylon, Stan Creekmore with RPM tonight. So... Way over, there you go. Um, so in the process of going through inspection, did you have any run-ins with the uh, NASCAR inspectors? Nah, they're just a family to us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to put him on retainer. He's good. He's really good. Anybody else have a question for either Keith or... Uh, or Braylon. Well, listen, I think at this time I'm going to call up the crew guys uh, from the number five team. I think some of them are here. We've got uh, – Braylon's going to show us how to dance. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, his uh, Just Keep Dancing campaign raises awareness for pediatric cancer through fan-submitted dancing videos. And, uh, you know, certainly this is uh, – this is something that uh, this young man has is, is, is started, and uh, he's been an inspiration for, for a lot of folks around this country. So, uh, big band back here in the back, you want to cue it, and Braylon, I want you to take it away. Oh, what? 
All right, let's hear it for Braylon Beam. Let's hear it for the number five team over at Hendrick Motorsports. Thank you all very much.